Hi, hello, Bruno. What brought you to music? Um, when I was three years old, I saw my sister playing, like you know, playing the piano, and I was like, told my mom, I want to learn that. I want to, I want to take piano lessons as well. And she's like, what? Well, but you're three years old, you know. So she asked the teacher, oh, can she read already? Like, my mom said, yes, yeah, she can read. And so the teacher was like, okay, then I can teach her. So we started right away, and of course, I. To be honest, I didn't really enjoy the piano lessons <laughs> because, you know, it's different. You have to practice and like, you know, being three yeah. years old, it's a, a different, yeah, the yeah. discipline. So she let you down again. Didn't I tell you to take care of that heart, my friend? And I think the, the first thing that got me into performing, like wanting to be a performer, was probably musicals because I used to watch Phantom of the Opera uh -huh. and I used to watch those musicals and I think um, just seeing the artists on stage and seeing how they were just you know letting out all those emotions and that made me feel like oh like I felt something from that. At that time you were living in Malaysia you were? Uh, yes I think when I was I was about nine or ten I was still of course in Malaysia and then um, when I turned around 18 I was in Australia because initially uh, before taking uh, a music degree, I was actually studying engineering. It wasn't exactly what I personally wanted. I wanted to please my parents, but at the same time, I knew that deep inside I wanted to, wanted to, do, be a to do, yeah, be a music, and I wanted to study music. I wanted to have a degree in music. I was in Melbourne for a while, and during that time, I, you know, I met a lot of people who were also interested in music, and we were all students, and you know, we. We just got together and played some music over the weekends or we would play shows when we were not in class. You know, I think that was when I slowly started to get into music even more. I just felt like that was what I wanted that more than maybe engineering, for instance. So, of course, I, when I came back, I told my mom, like, this is really what I want to do. You know, I, I'm happier doing this. Um, and, and eventually they said, OK. to Boston to study. Why Boston? Um, well, because Berklee College of Music is in Boston and I think growing up, uh, you know, I've always heard of this college, but when I was deciding on which, which course to take, of course, because music wasn't in the picture, so I didn't really think that I would get the chance to go there. And also because so many great artists go there, I was like, okay, well, like, who am I to be uh, a student of Berklee? And it's like one of the best experiences I've ever had as a musician, you know, to be able to not only learn from great professors, great musicians, but also to meet people from all over the world and see and hear music differently. Obviously, everyone looks to the West. It's, it's a normal thing for people to say, oh, what's cool in, in the States? What's cool in, in UK? What's cool in Europe? You know, but 
um, we forget that we have so much here, like yeah. the culture is so rich and there's so much to take from our own culture and we should be proud of it. Uh, there was someone who interviewed me as well and we were about to uh, work on a project together and so he said, oh you know, like, um, sing me something. And I was like, okay, so I sang him a song that was uh, from this artist, well, that I really, really admire, Erika Badu, and I sang on and on. Uh, he was like, oh, that's great, you know, but, but sing me something from your country. And I was like, oh, I, I don't know, you know, because I'd, I'd never really thought about that, you know, and I didn't think that anyone would ask me that. But then I thought about it, and I thought, oh, when I was younger, there's this traditional song called Sri Mer Singh. And I thought about that song and I'm like, okay, I, I have one song. And so I sang that song to him and he was like, oh, that's beautiful. You should sing that more often. And at the same time, I was also really into like electronic music and like artists um, like James Blake, who kind of have that R&B and soul influence, but also it's electronic. And so I was like, how do I put that together? Put the traditional element and that element together. And that was when I experimented with streamer Singh for real now, after singing that to my friend, um, and I recorded it. So I brought it home. I want to say that it was well received by maybe the people who got what I was trying to do. Yeah. But there were also purists who were like... Yeah, because it was so different. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So for them, it's like, oh, you know, uh, why, why did you do it this way? But I didn't change the way I sang the song. I didn't change the, you know, the, the inflections and the, you know, everything else was kept uh, as pure as it's, it can be. But it's just the music, the background, you know, the, what supports the melody. I just experimented with that. So the emotions are different when you sing in Malay than when you sing in English? Um, it poss possibly. I think um, I've, I'm, I, don't, I don't really feel that way, but I've been told that when I sing in Malay, it feels different, you know. I mean, I speak both languages at home. I speak Malay and English, so I think it's, it both comes naturally to me. But I also feel like with certain songs, especially when songs have a certain, because of the language itself, um, it's so poetic. And so I think because of that, naturally when I sing it, I will, you know, sing it differently also. What are the, your yes. influences in music right now? Um, I would say also R&B. You know, I love, I've always loved R&B. You know, I, I listened to a lot of um, R&B artists when I was growing up. You know, I was also um, really into Destiny's Child when I was in school. So I had a girl group, like a trio also, you know, like Destiny's Child when we were in high school. And I love artists who aren't afraid to take risk and who are original. And, you know, they, they're they always doing something um, fresh, you know, they're, and they're not afraid to be themselves. I think that's the important part. Like Bjork, for instance, she just, she's just been that way. 
And um, what are your projects now? Um, I have uh, my new EP coming out. It will be a three song uh, EP. I will be including uh, two English songs and then one, again, the exploration of the uh, traditional uh, music. I do want to still branch out. I think there's so much to, to see. You know, the world is, is just so... So vast, but at the same time so small. It so, is, yeah. yeah. And so it's, in a way, it is, it is, it's not impossible. You know, I, I feel like what I want to do is just, yeah, to bring this brand of music outside of Malaysia so more people can, can um, enjoy it. Thank you.